How we doing, everybody? This is That Our Nerd here with another dplyr verb. Uh, so if you want to see the first couple, we've gone through the select statement and the filter statement. I'll put some, uh, some links right there. You can press if you want to see those. Our next one on the list is the arrange statement. Um, one of the cool things about all these different uh, verbs is that you, you can kind of tell already what they're going to do. And it does it better than any other way that, that I've seen. Uh, also, shout out to Hadley Wickham who, who made this package. I think I should put that out there. Um, so anyways, uh, the next one is the arrange. So this is similar to the other two methods, right? Select and filter. Uh, we put an arrange and then we put our data frame, so iris. And then we put, how do we want to arrange this? What variable do we want to arrange this by? Right, so if we want to arrange by sepal length, and what that's going to do is it's going to order the whole data frame um, in terms of this sepal length. Um, and the way that it, it defaults is that it's going to go from lowest to highest. Uh, sometimes, and in fact a lot of times when I'm using it at least, I want to see highest to lowest, right? And so the way that you can see that is, you can say descending, and then put some parentheses around it, right? And this is going to arrange it descending from sepal length. So now we have the biggest... Um, and then it descends down. I actually haven't tried this, so this is kind of an experiment here, but I assume if you put another one on there, it's going to uh, sort it next by the other, uh, the other one if you want to do another way. So we'll say descending sepal width. Right, and so this is going to go sepal length first. This is going to be biggest to smallest. And then if there's any ties, it'll go highest to lowest in the next uh, variable that we had, which was sepal width, right? So 7.7, 7.7, 7.7, 7.7, 7 .7. and then these are all, these are all decreasing according to this variable in the next one. Um, so really cool. That one's kind of a quick one, but that's what the arrange statement, the arrange verb does. Uh, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Thank you very much for your time and for watching this video. Have a swell day.